thank you so much for clicking on this video. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys my current favorites, not through the month, because a lot of these products I've had for more than a month. Um, so these are just the products that I use all the time, um, whether I purchased them a year ago, two years ago, uh, two days ago. Like These are just products that I absolutely love. Um, I'm going to start off with primers. First one, if you guys seen my last video, um, I used the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. This, oh my gosh, it moisturizes your face and primes it and it leaves the skin like super tacky. It has hyaluronic acid, which is super good for moisturizing, so. And my face is super dry, so I love having um, a moisturizer, especially in with a primer, so I think it's just awesome. And to my next, I guess you can call it a primer, it's the MAC Fix Plus. I'm sure you guys have heard. So like I was saying, I'm sure you guys have seen this before. It is the MAC Fix Plus. Um, it says prep and prime, so I use it as a primer and it works so, so well. Like the Smashbox Primerizer, it makes the skin super tacky. I usually use this on top of the primerizer um, just to give it an extra, like, I don't know, sticky feeling, I guess. Um, I didn't purchase the full size because I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it or not. So I bought this and it is super, super nice. I absolutely love it. Next, we will go to foundations. If I had to choose two out of my collection, it will be these two. Um, they're both drugstore. This one is the L'Oreal Pro Glow. Um, this is my second bottle and it's almost gone. Um, I'm in shade 206. I forgot how much I love this foundation. I just used it in my last video that I, um, or in, I don't know if when you guys will see this video, but I've used it in a previous video um, for the first time in a really long time and I forgot how much I absolutely love this. It just leaves the skin um, super dewy and super shiny and for me, I like that because um, my face isn't oily so I like having that glow um, and it's not so shiny that you look greasy. It's more so just like a... It's like a, it's actually like, it literally is what it says. It's like a glow. It, it's so nice. So my next foundation is by Maybelline. It's the Dream Liquid Mousse Airbrush Finish. I'm in shade 70, pure beige. That's what it looks like. It has a little pump. Um, and this one, I never tried before. I see myself reaching for this a lot more than any of the ones that are in my collection. So that's why I thought... I mean, this would be a good fit for my favorites. But yeah, so this one's also very good. It's not full coverage whatsoever. The Maybelline one isn't full coverage either. Um, I have yet to find a really good foundation from the drugstore that's full coverage. Yeah, so it's definitely one of my favorites. Okay, next I'm going to concealer. I think you guys could probably already guess what my favorite concealer is. This is going to be the Tot Shape Tape. Um, I'm in shade light medium. This thing, it is so full coverage, um, it is so nice to blend, it's just, I mean, and it comes out a little like dofa. Easy application, easy blending, it's just, ugh, you guys, it's so good. I think it was like 23 or 27, so it's not too expensive. Okay, next we are going to go to setting powders. So my favorite setting, uh, setting powder is the Too Faced um, Born This Way, um, I think it's called Ethereal, Ethereal Setting Powder. And this thing I heard was so close to the Laura Mercier one. I've talked to some people that like this one better than the Laura Mercier one. And then there's people that like the Laura Mercier one and like, oh my god, this one's also really good. Like, So they're basically neck and neck um, with the best. So, I mean, I think once this runs out, I'm going to go get the Laura Mercier one. But as of right now, this one is my favorite. It doesn't get cakey. It doesn't get, doesn't dry. It doesn't stick to your dry patches, which I have a couple. Um, but yeah, so it's definitely up there with my favorites. Next, I am going to finish up the face. Um, I'm going to talk about bronzer and then contour. So, my favorite bronzer, I've purchased, I think, three of these. It's the Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. Um, it looks like this and it flips open like this and it has like a little brush, but of course I've lost the brush. I don't know where it went. Um, and it's not like a brush I would use. So this smells like coconuts and like, it smells like the sunset or something. I, the sunset. Oh my God. It smells just like the beach. I don't know. It just smells so, so good. Um, uh, it's super creamy. It blends out super, super well. So this is definitely my favorite. The next thing I'm going to go on to is contour. 
Um, this is an oldie but a very, very good goodie. I bought this Smashbox contour palette, I want to say two years ago. And it looks just like this. It's obviously very beaten. Um, it looks like that. It has a little mirror and it has a little like diagram of how to use it. Um, and this pan right here it was a banana powder, but I used it was so good that I used all of it. This is so creamy and it blends out so well. And this bronze shade is a lot warmer than the butter bronzer, so I use this on top of my butter bronzer. Blends out so well. The contour blends out so well. It is just a really, really good contour palette. The next contour palette that I have um, for my favorites is the Lorac Pro Contour Palette. Looks like this. And then it looks like this inside. It has both the white shade, it has a yellow banana powder, it has a shimmer um, highlight, which I never use on my face. I use it on my lids sometimes. And then these three contour has the light, the medium, and the dark. I use the medium one. So this one also blends out like a dream. It came with a brush. Um, a very, very nice brush. It's a super thin. So next I am going to go to highlights, highlighters. Um, this is the Becca Jaclyn Hill um, Limited Edition Champagne Collection Face Palette. So this was, like I said, Limited Edition. I was in Sephora one day and I really wanted just to look at it. And this was the last one that was on the shelf um, in the box. And they had one obviously on display that was like totally beaten and disgusting. But I asked the lady at Sephora and I was like, do you guys have any more of these in stock? And she's like, no, she's like, that's like the last one. And I'm like, <gasps> I was like, I wasn't, I had money, but I didn't, it was supposed to be going towards something else, I think, or it wasn't like, it wasn't logical for me to go and buy this $54 palette or 52, however much it was, um, this palette. But I was like, oh my God, it's the last one. Like I need to get it. So I literally was like, you know, screw it. I'll just get it. So it literally has Prosecco pop, champagne pop, and then it has the three blushes. Um, the middle one I love using um, right above my contour. It's a super deep, dark, um, warmer shade. So that's what I like to use. Um, but yeah, it's literally like, I use the highlights in it. The mirror is but like phenomenal. The obviously the highlights are awesome. Like it's just it's just like a staple palette. Okay. So next I'm going to go to eyeshadow and then I will hop over to um, brushes. So my first eyeshadow palette that I constantly use like almost every single day is the BH Cosmetics Carly Bible collaboration. Um, it's, it's not the deluxe one, it's actually the first one and this is what it looks like. It has four highlight shades on the bottom and it has um, 10 eyeshadow shades. I reach for this, like I said, at least once a day whenever I do my makeup. Um, this is actually my second palette. My friend gave me this one, so I gave my sister my older one and gave it to her. So it's so lightweight and it's just so, you know, it's so easy. And, I, and if I'm using a mirror to do my makeup, this is the mirror that I use. I don't use any other um, makeup palette. I only use this one because the mirror is so nice. It's so bright. It's gorgeous. The next eyeshadow palette that I have that is one of my favorites is definitely the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette. There's that, and this is the back. It has all of the names on that, which I think is pretty cool. And it is so, it's all matte shades, so there's no shimmers. Um, it is just, you can, I just, the shades are so pigmented. They're so, they're just so creamy. I've never had a palette so creamy before. Um, this is definitely one for the books, so yeah. My last eyeshadow palette is this girl right here. This is the Morphe X Jaclyn Hill eyeshadow palette. This palette, you guys, you need to go and buy this palette. It is so, so cheap, um, so affordable, and this is the purples, you have the dark pinks, you have the dark warmer, brown shades, you have the blues in the bottom, you have a black, you have a dark purple, like you have everything in here. And the sh you guys can, like you guys see how beaten this is? Like this is so dirty. And then on top it says, um, this palette is dedicated to all my loving subscribers, XO Jacqueline. So it's definitely, it's so dirty, like even the front is so dirty. Um, it's definitely a very, very beloved palette of mine that I use 
um, almost every day. Um, there's been days that I haven't used it, which is, I try to, I have so many eyeshadow palettes, I try to use each one, like, you know, the same. <laughs> Next, I'm going to be going to applicators, as in like brushes, beauty blenders. My favorite beauty blender is actually this one right here. It is by L'Oreal. It's just a normal beauty blender. They have two other ones, I believe, but this one's my favorite. I use this side for foundation, the top part, if I want to go under my eyes or anything. This is definitely one that I use all the time. My first brush that I want to shout out is this one by Morphe. Um, I don't know what it's called. I apologize it came in a travel set one I like to blend right in there and right in there so it's super super soft um it blends out very very well it has a nice little angle to it so it's definitely a very very nice brush and then my next favorite brush is this little guy right here it's also from a travel set I don't know um, the name of it but I'm sure you can probably get it just by itself I'm sure um, and it's so easy to get inside the crease and blend out in the transition. Like, it's literally, ugh, it's so nice. My next favorite is this lip liner. I'm like, it matches my lips 110%. So, it is the Maybelline uh, lip liner in shade 05 Rose. This eyelash crimper. I had the Tarte one. It ripped out all my lashes. Long story short, I got rid of it. And my sister was like, oh my gosh, like, have you tried the e.l.f. one? It's super cheap and it works really well. So I was like, no. So I ended up buying it and it was super, it was like six bucks, not even. Um, and yeah, so needless to say, this is what I use all the time now. It was, I like it a lot more than the Tarte ones. This is my favorite mascara. It is the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. It looks exactly like the Better Than Sex by Too Faced. Um, but yeah, this is what it looks like right here. And it is so, so, so nice. It doesn't clump. It, I just, I don't think I've ever tried a mascara that is this good before. My last product, it is the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Um, this is new to Morphe, and I absolutely love this. It just, oh, it just smells so good. It feels so good, especially if you blend it um, into the skin with a beauty blender. Oh, but yeah. And that is it. Thank you guys so much. Um, those are my current favorites. Um, basically, like my holy grail ride or dies as of right now. That does change, obviously, over time. But yeah, that is basically it. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel for more videos. My semester of school is almost over with, and I cannot wait because as soon as that's over with, I can focus more on filming and uploading for you guys and getting more material out for you guys. So if you're still here, thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope, hopefully it wasn't too like quick or too like unorganized. I tried to bust out my favorites. So again, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.